Hey, good evening. Welcome to a Foreigner in the Philippines update on our guest house. And uh, we really are moving along now. Um, let me see. So only that tiny bit there of cladding. So that's going on top there and then around around this around this base there's going to be a shelving unit that's about maybe a foot wide maybe a little bit more 15 inches so that's going to go up we've got this open for the electrics that has to be done of course we have we have allowed for the uh, AC unit which is going around here actually up out of uh, head head height so that's only that's just fixed temporarily it probably will go up there next to the AC unit uh, and all the really nice details that I'm um, uh, that I really like uh, the way that James has brought it around this was the this was the design that I did for the uh, the the red house in the living room in the red house and uh, and I liked it very much so I got James to do it in here too which of course he's done a very good job now I know that lots lots have said to to keep the wood finish but that's not the style that we're that, that I'm looking at doing so I'm not going to do that we have the colors pretty well chosen out and uh, there'll be a contrast obviously between the uh, cement smooth cement finish and this is pretty smooth so not going to be doing any more to that you can get it much smoother than that but we won't be doing that got the trim to buy for around the window which probably will get tomorrow and a few other things you can see the way that this goes on this is cut from the block ply it makes it uh, it makes it a very cheap, uh, inexp <laughs> not not cheap. <laughs> let's say inexpensive, inexpensive way of doing this chair rail rather than do it in a hardwood. Which believe me, if you did that in a hardwood, uh, you'd be looking at quite a bit of an expense. So we're not looking to do that. And that brings us back round to where we started. So looking around from this corner, this is all the recent work. This is the work that's been done today and over to there. We've got lots of detail work has been done which doesn't actually show very much. But we've got the panel there. Obviously that blazing single light is not going to be what we use. What we're actually looking at is that gap. That gap there is enough that we can put in our, if you think about this, they have these LED slimline, uh, I'm looking at this for the thickness. This is about the thickness of the, uh, the slimline, uh, not fluorescent, but tubes. And they do these tubes, say as thick as that, if you look, if you look there, it gives you an idea. See, so this, this is about the thickness, but there's enough room to be able to get a couple of of those lights on either side and one on the end, uh, and it gives it gives a very nice uh, subdued light. And then, of course, you have. Uh, main um, sources of light then around the corner uh, on there and on there there's another outlet there and another one here so there's plenty I keep kicking I keep kicking that uh, metal stud because it's so long it's 10 foot long so I went out and got the electrics here more more light switches which are going to be changed of course we've got stuff to do in in the bathroom yet 
but we're getting very close we'll be very close soon to just once once that unit is down there there's a shelving unit that is meant to go in there uh, once that's up and that bit of cladding is on there we're looking at put doing trim that will be the same trim that if you've looked at the uh, at the kind of treatment that we put around the windows in the red house you'll know that that's what we're going to put around doorways and of course windows so very pleased that's where the TV is going obviously and that's that's not just this is what the cladding this is the cladding that's going on the wall at the moment. This gives you an idea. Look at my fingers. We would call this one eighth, but for some reason, um, maybe it's down to the uh, translation between the, uh, our measurements uh, of inches, feet and inches, and they go into metric, so they call that quarter. And there is quite a firm firm base behind there that will take this bracket for the television so that's what we're looking at there so that's a flat screen television which uh, doesn't fill that but it's um, it, it's a reasonable size and there's a the feed for that so that's what we're that's what we're looking at Lots of detail work still to go in all places where um, it's dry fitted, not screwed in. Um, all of that has to be gone over um, in detail work. As I said, I've got to put the, let me show you how that will work out. You can look pretty well. This is a little bit wider than, than the trim that I would buy. For going around the windows but gives you a good idea you can see that that's been brought up level there so the molding for going around the windows will go like this and then it's a smooth fit now when that's that's got a little bit of filler in it uh, and sanded down that will be uh, really excellent so that's the, the plan there. So out for more materials tomorrow. It, uh, it, it's not a huge room, but boy, it swallows up the materials. But we're getting very, very close. I'm very, very pleased. I'll have to do something with that door and the other the other door I'll do something to dress that up with with um, Philippine quarter inch ply I'll be putting something on there something this thick just as as a decorative panel which I've used a lot so you'll get a nice panel on there on the front and when that's when that's painted up it will look really good so uh, there we are update complete work in progress of course still but quick scan round and you can see that it's coming along it's coming along really nice it will be a really nice room and soon I will be able to come in and and start my work which is building all the furniture and fittings the bed and uh, and all of that kind of stuff cabinets corner table for going in there uh, and all that's gonna have to be done and that's my that's my scene that's what I do all of this is heavier work than it looks. Getting stuff up on the ceiling is something which um, 
I'm happy to <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to delegate that to James and he does it very well of course so thanks for looking in and bye for now